Today we're playing the Parry Queen herself, the best character in Divine Knockout in my personal opinion. You can literally tell me what you want, but I honestly believe she has the perfect kit to counter everyone. And we're going against the most OP guy there is, Loki. The best part is this is right before the patch. The patch should drop this week at some times, and once it drops, Loki's not going to be as OP. But Athena's still going to be dripping that swag. One of the main things you're probably going to see in this video from my last Athena video is I've improved a lot. I've been playing Athena every day trying to improve and level her up. And I'll be honest with you, it has not been easy. There have been so many matches where I've struggled to gain a victory or I lose just because I keep missing my parry and my spear. Those are super important to Athena's kit, especially the parry. As I'm hoping to do in this gameplay right now, that my parry is going to be on point because that's the whole thing I've been working on. The spare gameplay is decent. I'm getting accustomed to it, but I do need her massive trait so I can jump on her spare three times. Oh, look at that perfect parry right there. And it's great to know that I'm going up against the Loki. Oh man, that would have been a perfect hold heavy at that point. Now, one of the great things about Athena is she's a perfect counter to Loki. That parry is something that can set you apart. I barely, barely missed that explosive me. And let me tell you, what I've seen with Loki this week is ridiculous. Watching all these Lokis use their explosive me's to switch their vulnerability has been chaos. Can I catch him with my ult here? Let's find out. It does. Oh, no. He dodged at the right moment getting out of my ultimate. But then again, Athena's ultimate, in my opinion, is easy to dodge if you really know what you're doing. He baited my parry so smart there. But at the same time, I was prepared. Throwing that spare, I'm just being patient. That's the thing I've learned with Athena. No matter what happens, patience is key with Athena. Like, he's at 140% vulnerability. If I get something off, I can knock him out. But what I've learned while I play Athena, when I get overzealous, I tend to mess up and somehow they end up coming in with the victory. Plus, I still need to learn how to do my empowered aerial attacks a little better. I don't have her build fully for it, so I do need to change around things. And that right there was a picture perfect heavy attack. As you can see with my Athena gameplay, you see me using a lot of just heavy attack, quick heavy attacks. Because I think it looks cool. I'll be honest with you, that's really why I do it. I love the pointed tips, dodging out there, coming in with some nice side attacks. I'm going to chuck my spare. Oh, okay. Well, I missed the spear. I meant to throw it right at him, but it went to the ground, so it changed my plan. I was like, okay, well, I'm going to go forward. And Loki countered me perfectly at that moment. As you will see as well, you're noticing that I'm dodging a lot of his abilities, especially his acrobatic ball, so when he comes out of stealth, and if I know I can't dodge, I'm literally waiting to parry. And that, honestly, is one of the keys to defeating Loki. Being able to dodge him when he's coming out of stealth or countering his acrobatic strikes or something else. I'm going to come down there with the heavy, and yes, I timed it. Athena's heavy is really good. I'm still working on learning how to spike people off. So far, out of this whole week I've been playing Athena, I've only been able to spike somebody at the edge of the map. Whoa, 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 whoa. Our vulnerabilities just switched. That's not good. I need to be really patient right now. Now, if you rewind back the video, you'll see I was at a lower vulnerability and he hit me with his explosive me instantly switching it giving me his own now let me tell you this is deadly it's very hard to come out on top sometimes when you're playing other characters but since I'm Athena I do have parry on my ultimate so I'm going to try my best to turn it around as best as possible I'm going to come down here looking oh I was hoping to get a little closer to use my air heavy that's okay coming in there getting my buff just to stay a little safe because he can easily knock me out right now and that's not something I want waiting for him perfect parry right there getting him getting that damage up slowly now he does some more but i do have my alt and i'm pretty sure he does not want to mess up so i'm just going to keep chucking my spear getting that damage up Duh, parry yes now if you're wondering why i switched up my plan to using parries instead of dodge for that one main reason the parry actually does damage where the dodge does not okay so he just i missed my ultimate completely there that was my bad throwing the spare here getting a little more damage now the reason i'm walking up here because at this point it's become a mind game so i'm going to get my dodge ready and i'm going to save my parry for his acrobatic vaults what i mean by a mind game it's perfect right there look at that parry the mind game is he's literally up in vulnerability and he was starting to mess up. He was like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this Athena's playing around and being able to turn this game around. So it's making him make mistakes. So learning when to be more aggressive with Athena is something I've been learning. That aerial strike was perfect. And into the parry. Man, I love Athena. She's such a good character. I dodged through that. Even though I think that ability should have hit me, that's fine. I guess my dodge was too good. Ooh, he came in at the wrong moment, collected it. He's taking that vulnerability, and I'm guarding that health orb. Oh man, I barely missed that, but he did a very nice counter there. I got my parry up, my dodge, and my spear is coming up. So if he goes invisible soon, right, perfect. Invisibility into the parry. I'm going to save my dodge for the acrobatic vault, throwing my spear. My spear completely missed. And since I got dazed, I'm going to get myself that little buff there. So I won't be knocked out too much. So he's at 74. I am ticking, but I'm fine. I have the health orb up, dodging out there, coming in with some nice side attacks. I'm going to chuck my spear at him, and it missed. So guess what? That parry knocks him out, popping my ultimate. If this hits him, that's GG, right? Oh, it does. 
this was a really good showcase of what Athena can do. She's the perfect character in the Vine knockout. This is perfect right here. I'm definitely going to put this in a video whether I win or lose. Why? Because all I've been doing today is going up against Lokis and Sun Wukong. So just the trickster gods today. Let's see if I can get the aerial and we clash. That Wukong already knew how to counter that, which was really nice. My game plan this match is the same. I'm going to play patient, learn to use my spare a little better because I want to try to do some more empowered aerials as well as learn to use my parry more. See, I could have used my parry there, but it didn't go off. Plus, it didn't kind of, I don't know, my brain didn't get the reaction time I needed. I did land that heavy, which was nice. Dodging out. Let me see if I can bait him into my parry right here. Perfectly right there. I know the health orb is coming up, so I got to get some distance. Throwing the spear. Can I? No, he got it. He totally got it. I misjudged that a little bit. Dodging through. He's dodging really quick, so I'm assuming his Wi-Fi is working perfectly right now. Because normally when you dodge through a Sun Wukong's Kurgil, you can land your light attacks more or less. So the fact that he's able to dodge through that immediately tells me he has very good Wi-Fi and connection. I'm looking to see dot. Oh man, that was perfect. I really didn't avoid it much. What I should have done was counter, but that's okay. I'm gonna knock him back here. I also have my ultimate. I'm gonna pop it right here. See if I can knock. Okay, so I get one clone knocked out. I'm gonna come in with that heavy attack. So when you're fighting the clones, what I have learned is separating them or trying to knock them out early. So what you can do if you're in the right circumstance, doing a hold heavy at the right time when he pops his ultimate allows you to knock him out if he's high on vulnerability. Okay, so I don't have to worry about that clone anymore. Yeah, you see he already dissipated. Now I just have this guy at 150. Oh, he's getting hit with the books. Slamming down there. Oh, okay. Can I hit my spear on him? Oh, no. It was way too far out. And the spear just disappeared. But it's okay. It's close. So I'm going to use my parry. Oh, he timed that perfectly. Knocking me out with his dashing strikes. But I have my mobility to come out. Dodging his Kurgil. Okay, so can I land the heavy? No, but his dodge isn't up. He's in range. Coming in with the next heavy attack. Pinpoint accuracy destroying him for first round. That's so good. That was actually a pretty nice matchup. I like the fact that I learned how to counter Sun Wukong's clones simply by playing Sun Wukong. Now, I know for a lot of people, his clones are a lot of issues. They're also fixing that or adding some extra things in the next patch that will allow you to deal with his clone or at least be able to tell them apart. As you can see there, I threw the spear and it countered his dashing strike. So I know it's on 50% cooldown right now. Keep that in mind. When you do counter a bit, is he gone there? Uh, okay, he's got the bird form. I heard the bird. I don't know why for some reason I thought he was gone. I, was, I thought he messed it up too. He's going to get the health orb and I messed this up. So I'm going to use my parry right here because I'm expecting him to come back in. Now, if he did not come back in, he would have baited my parry, allowing him to do a lot more damage to me. Now look at that gameplay I just did right there as you can see i jumped off the edge to avoid the dashing strikes just enough mainly because i saw my spear was about to come up and that parry in the sky knocks him back coming in with my ult it's gonna hit one of them it hits both of them oh that's perfect if that hits oh man that would have been a perfect elimination but right now all i have to do is deal with one of them all that happened really fast i'm not sure which one is the clone right now but i know what's in front of me right now so this is what i'm going to deal with so since I know they're over there, all I'm doing is buying time. The clone should be running out of time. Now I know which one is the real Wukong. He switched. The clone went off and I came in with that heavy attack to knock him back. Again, the spear dissipated. That's okay. And I bait him into the parry. Yes, perfect right there. Little gameplay. He's high in vulnerability, but so am I. We both can be knocked out. He's just a little higher. I did not get that off. I'm going to wait for the opportunity. Oh, no, I dodged at the wrong moment. I thought he was going to come in and attack. He got the dashing strikes off of me, but my parry is up. Coming in with that hold heavy, I barely miss it. Throwing the spares just so I can get this health orb. He should have his mobility up, which I need to pay very close attention to. He comes in with that attack. My parry did not work as planned, but it still countered him a little bit with the spinning. And as you can see, I came in with the hold heavy, and I can't believe he walked into that. But I mean, that's good. It gave me the victory. Now, this player is pretty decent. I will say the Loki player from the other match, he was actually really good as well. Now, okay, so he's coming a little more aggressive this match, which I understand. If he doesn't come back for the victory with this round, it's game over for him. I mean, it happens to me all the time. Sometimes I get really incredible comebacks. I have some videos of it, which is hilarious to me. Coming out with that hold heavy. I'm going to try myself for an early knockout simply because he's coming in super aggressive. The parry does knock back his dashing strikes. I missed the heavy, so I'm going to try to bait it out here. Coming in with another heavy attack, knocking him out. I really want that health orb and the perfect spare timing. It comes up. I'm going to use this. Can I hit him? Oh, no. He does get the peck for some reason. He didn't continue on. I don't know. Coming in with the hold heavy, this should be GG. I will say, Athena's and Zeus's hold heavy are my favorites simply because they have a two part. 